Hi guys, hello and welcome back to my kitchen. Today we would be making pretzel. I've put quarter of a cup of sugar, half teaspoon of salt, and one tablespoon of the active yeast. So that's half of a tablespoon, and then half and half is um, one tablespoon. Okay. And I would be adding one cup of warm water. And three tablespoons of oil. Three cups of flour. And I'll be using my hook to actually um, knead this mixture for seven minutes but i will be doing it for six minutes 50 seconds yes so this is going to be a very interesting recipe because when you go out shopping a lot of people they literally form a massive queue uh, this place called Mr. Pretzel. And these pretzels are so good that even the aroma fills the entire shopping center. You would kind of like trace where the smell is coming from. And then I thought to myself, okay, let's try this. Let's see how this goes. And watching these people when they're actually kneading and doing all this stuff, let's say, we should try and do it. And my kids said, I should give you a try that they think I'm going to do well in this. Let's see if this is going to be a good one or it's going to be an epic feel. It looks nicely needed, to be honest, after six minutes and 50 seconds. So I'm going to get some cooking oil and spray it into a clean bowl. Okay. And I'll transfer the kneaded butter into the bowl. And I'll be covering it up for about 30 minutes to an hour. Until it kind of like poofs, it increases in size and it's not sticky to the finger like it is now. If you look at this, it's kind of like sticking to my finger. But never mind. We will get this to work. Let's turn it around. Just like so. Yeah. And we'll cover it up. And before we proceed into this video, I need to ask you, how was your summer holiday? Yes, it's coming to the end of the summer break. And everyone is getting back to normal routine. The kids will be going back to school. Some kids have already returned to school. How did you enjoy your summer break? Did you go anywhere fun? Drop it in the comment section. Did you go to a hot country? What's the weather like in your location? Let's know. Let's interact. Let's have a conversation. Let's cover this baby up for about 30 minutes to an hour. Okay? And just look, it has actually doubled in size. Okay. And then I'm going to transfer it into my mat. But I'm going to add some flour so it's not sticky on there. This is the moment of truth. <laughs> How do you think this is going to go? Am I going to feel like this? Or do you think I would do well? Let me know. Let's keep going. You know when you've not tried something before and you're so nervous, like you're going to mess this thing up. Or something within you is like, you're going to get it. Let's spread this, spread it out nicely. I'm spreading it in a way that it's not too thin. 
Okay. Yep. And then when I'm going to cut it into strips as well, I'm going to use two fingers long in order to cut them so it's not too thin. Just like so. Three, four, five. So I'm doing some counting, so I should be able to get about six or seven out of this mixture that we've just made. Wish me luck. So we've got about seven. I'm going to roll them away. Okay. And then the next. How do you feel about this at this point? <laughs> Let me know. Now onto the first one. It's nice, it's not sticking to my finger. And I'm gonna rub some oil in my hand so it's not sticky. And I'm gonna roll it into a long rope. If you could honestly hear my kids, when I was making this, they felt like I was one of the guys in Mr. Pretzel because of the way I was going. They were really excited about it. Oops, I almost bumped that. Okay, so now that it's long enough, I'm going to act like I'm about to tie a rope twice and then put the end at the top. How does that look? And then the next one. That looks amazing already. I'm feeling so proud of myself. And one, two, like you're twisting your hair and boom. And I'll repeat the same process for everything, just like so. Make sure my hand is not too sticky. Twist one, twist two, and stick to the top. The rhythm, the more you do it, you get the rhythm right. And this is what we have. This is what we have. We have about eight of them. And then now I'm going to get some hot water, not boiling, boiling water, but some hot water. And I'm going to pour in a tablespoon of baking, bicarbonate of soda or baking, baking soda. Give it a good mix. This part is a bit technical. And I'll drop it in for about 10 seconds. And then I'll get it out. That is very tricky. You need to be very careful with this part. Oops, I almost broke it. It survived. And then the same for that. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. It could be very flimsy. And the same for that. And yeah, everything is on the baking tray, ready to be baked. I preheated my oven 160 until I put it in. And then I increase it to 180 and let it bake until it's golden brown. Just like so. And look at the beauty we have just created. Oh my God, I did it. Look at that. And I'm going to use, I'm going to brush on some butter. 
At this point, my kids were so excited. They couldn't wait to try it. And I tell you, before I was even able to take the thumbnail picture, four of these were gone. Yes, they were gone. And for first attempt, I actually think I did so well. It looks really good. It tasted good. The girls loved it. And I am really happy about that. If you're going to be trying this, let me know. And that's the cinnamon sugar that we made in one of my previous videos. I sprinkle it on it. And it's ready for you to consume. So if you've enjoyed watching this video, please give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't. Drop a comment. I would be reading. And if you... Uh, one of my OGs, I just want to say I love you so much. Thank you for the continuous support. I appreciate you and I will see you when in my next video. Thank you so much for watching and bye-bye.